First, Bryce, thank you for your time. Thank you particularly for your time to talk to me about the last season. The last season, I, I always do that because we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Right. I'd never say right. never. Yeah. So thank you for taking your time to talk about the last season, uh, Attack on Titan, and congratulations on almost 12, 11, 12 years. Thank you. Yeah, time has flown by. Uh, thank you for having me here. I, I got to talk about that. I mean, almost 12 years of, of Aaron, of your voice and the voice of giving, you know, giving life to the voice of, to, to Aaron. Did you, you know, let's go back, start back in time. Did you expect this? Did you expect this to blow up the way it blew up uh, Attack on Titan? You know, I, I think everyone knew that this was a really special show. Um, I knew as someone who was a fan of the show before I was a part of it that I loved it. Um, and it really, it really sucked me into it as a viewer. I was absolutely hooked. I started watching as it was being released in Japanese in season one. There were about six episodes out when I started watching. And after episode five, that's when I knew like this show was something really special and I couldn't stop watching. Um, when, uh, when we were working on it and, and after I had been cast, um, you know, we had no idea how everyone would respond. And it's been incredible to see, you know, how uh, worldwide, how the, the world has just been drawn to this and stayed connected to the show and, and just been on the edge of their seats the entire time. It's very cool that others have had the same experience that I had as a viewer. So it's really cool to be part of something like Attack on Titan. I got I to gotta talk about your career. I mean, again, 12, 11, 12 years voicing the, the giving life to the protagonist of Attack on Titan, Aaron. And what does it mean to you? And how has your career changed since, you know, first coming into the character? Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said before, I was a fan of the show and I would have been happy playing any character in the show uh, let alone Aaron, even like guy that got stepped on by Titan. Um, that, that would have been special for me. Um, in fact, uh, this show was the first audition I had for Funimation. I had been working on many other uh, uh, anime and video game projects, um, but I had never worked for Funimation. I'm based in Los Angeles, California. Funimation is in Dallas, Texas. So um, I hadn't crossed paths with anyone there. Um, and when Mike McFarlane, the director and casting director of the show, was um, starting to push out those auditions, a buddy of mine, Patrick Seitz, received the audition and knew that I was a fan of the show and I, I would have loved to read for it. He asked Mike, hey, can my buddy Bryce read for you? And Mike's like, yeah, you know, you can pass these along and, and have them send them in. And immediately when I got the audition, I went out and bought soundproofing for my studio at home. Now I have a, a very professional space that I'm in now, but before um, I was working out of kind of like an adapted closet that didn't have the best soundproofing. I knew I would scream and I didn't want my neighbors to call the cops on me. Um, I'm really glad I did because I gave it everything I could in that audition and definitely uh, must have resonated through to Mike. Um, so yeah, I think I think the biggest thing that shifted, um, you know, in in my life is just the friendships that have come out of this show. Um, I, I really didn't know too many of the folks that lived in the Dallas area and work for Funimation. And now I've built these truly lifelong friendships with people like Trina Nishimura and Mike McFarland and, and Josh Greeley. Like, like I, I feel like I've become so close to them and working with them for so many years. Um, so it's, it's created something that's really special to me personally. Um, and, and yeah, just been incredible, incredible. I, I I see your interest on your on your on your face on your you know body body expressions. I love it. I, I mean, you're you're working, but you're a fan. That's so cool that you get to do something that you love. Um, I want to talk a, a little bit about Aaron. Aaron has changed so much since the first season to obviously the, this the last season. I don't want to say the last season because you never say that, right? <laughs> just you're laughing, but it's true. You know, you know. I don't want to. And I, I mean, just they. Obviously, you know, people just got to see the last ep the, the first episode uh, for the last season and, and the whole social media blew up and, and, and you know, the, the new internet and everything. But Aaron, I mean, they think one of the things that stood out to me about Attack on Titan is uh, charter development. I mean, the writing in here, 
is so amazing. Not just for Aaron, for all the characters. I mean, they did do such a great character in, in developing these characters and the different situations and trauma they have because it's a, a, a show that is full of trauma. And it puzzles me whenever I get a chance to talk to you, somebody like I talk to you and Kevin, I, I got attention to Kevin Conroy and Tara Strong, you see voice actors that, you know, it puzzles me how much information do the producers give to you because obviously they want to keep they want to keep things on the wraps. They don't want to, they don't want you know they want spoilers to leak, especially yeah. with something as big as Attack of Titan. Um, we have seen Aaron gone through so many changes. How much did you knew already when you were doing the the record, voice recording? How much did you guess or or did you just assume down the line this was going to happen? Did you agree with? where the lines of where Aaron, Aaron was going. Uh, how much, uh, walk me through it. Yeah, how much did I know? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. In fact, um, even though I was a viewer of the show, and that's pretty rare for um, voice actors to be able to watch a show before you get to work on it. It's, it's a luxury to have that. Um, but we don't get scripts ahead of time. We don't do table reads. Um, we have no time to practice. Um, and really what, what I do in my method is also not to look online for spoilers and not to read the manga. So I still don't know where this story is going or what is going to happen. I'm staying with the anime as it's released. Now I'm on the edge of my seat and I can't wait. So yes, the, the first episode just released yesterday and I watched it as soon as I could. I was so excited and I absolutely loved that first episode back, so intense, um, and can't wait to, to work on it myself. Um, but going through the story, absolutely nothing came um, from the producers, um, nothing was spoiled, and Mike, as the director, knew that that's kind of my method. So even going through this, you know, he would only tell me certain things on like a need to know basis, and it's still like that. So. I don't know where Aaron is going. I don't know what the end game is. And the shift in Aaron that happened between season three and four, we had no idea that was going to happen. So for me as an actor, being able to recreate the character and reinvent where the character is after living with him for so long was really exciting. Um, and it was very much a collaboration with myself and Mike McFarland. Um, I would say seasons one through three, there's this anger that's running through everything in Aaron's being. Every word that comes out of his mouth has this anger that goes along with it. And the shift that happens in this final season, um, what I approached it as is adding a layer of coldness on top of it. Like that anger still lives with him, but it is just buried under coldness. Um, and that was kind of what's running through the entire performance. And um, for me, like, it makes Aaron absolutely terrifying. And I love being able to portray that and, and, and take the character there. It was really, really fun. Yeah, it's just, it, I mean, you, I, 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 see, I gotta commend you what you do because you gotta change your voice into different emotions and different situations that Aaron is going. And then you said yourself, from the first couple of seasons, we are in, a, in this aura where we where we, he's just angry, and then in this last season, that I mean, the, the, the last couple of seasons, he's just mad, I and mean, he's just he's he's de dealing with so many emotions. I gotta before I let you go, I gotta I gotta ask, how did you prepare yourself to you know how to put yourself in the zone where you're okay? This is the emotions that I'm gonna you know I'm gonna present of, of Aaron. Yeah, so um, my method because we don't get scripts. We, we don't really have that time to make decisions ahead of time. You're kind of also, they're not adjusting the animation to us. Um, we're dubbing. So you're in this creative box, right? You have to make the performance your own. You take inspiration from those who have touched the show before. Kaji-san, um, the Japanese seiyu, is an incredible actor. And I, I love his performance. And I take a lot of inspiration from what he, he's done with the character. Um, but really what I do is I try to come in to the show with a blank slate. I try to then view what's happening in that moment as Aaron in that moment and just immerse myself in the show and just 
live as the character for the short time I get to portray him. Um, and it's, it's really, really fun. And, and that's just my method. That's the way I go into it. Um, and sometimes, you know, as I'm performing those lines immediately after, I'm just like, oh, how could, how could he say that? How could I say those words? Um, and, and I just love that, that I'm able to do that as an actor. And that's something that's really special about being particularly a voice actor. Mm -hmm. You know, you can be all these different things very, very quickly. Um, so, you know, having Mike at the helm, who's such an experienced director and so talented, you know, kind of bringing me to those moments and, and getting me into those moments and then just reacting. Whatever comes out in that moment is what comes out. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited to go through that process, especially knowing kind of how epic this, this show could be and, and the potential it has, I, you know, and, and again, I don't know what Aaron's end game is. A lot of times, um, you know, I, 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 I never guess these twists and turns, right. As a viewer, I was surprised with every single one and every episode of attack on Titan just opens the world up is so meaningful. Um, so it's, it's exciting. Every single episode is just more and more exciting. So I can't wait. I really just cannot wait. I don't want to take any more time. Uh, and, and I want to, uh, give you one last, ask you one last question with what, you know, without any, any, any spoilers, what can the fans expect from this again, last, I don't like say last, this last yes. season. So what, what, what can you give us? What can they expect? Well, I know there's going to be action, um, in, in, as we've seen from attack on Titan and especially in this final season, um, it is really, really intense. And the action scenes are just incredible. Um, so I know we're going to get a lot of that. There's going to be big, massive battles. I'm, you know, in very much attack on Titan fashion, I'm sure not everyone's going to make it. Um, we know, we know anyone can go at any time and it's so stressful. And again, uh, you know, I'll reinforce, I do not know what's going to happen. I do not know who's going to go next, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of battles and there's going to be some blood and uh, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Bryce, again, thank you. One last question. What, 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 else is, what else can we expect from Bryce after the last season of Attack on Titan? What else do you have pending? Oh, man, it's a very exciting time in my career. Um, I've, I've been lucky enough to be part of not just Attack on Titan, but some other really incredible mm -hmm. franchises that are out there um, that I highly recommend you guys checking out. One of them that comes to mind is Demon Slayer. Uh, I voice a character named Inosuke. Uh, who wears the boar mask, who screams a lot. Um, also, uh, Sword Art Online, if you guys have heard of that franchise. We had uh, the movie SAO Progressive come out just last year. Incredible story that takes you back to Aincrad from Asuna's perspective. I voice Kirito in Sword Art Online, and there's definitely more of that story coming. Um, and for those that might be a little bit younger and want something a little lighter, a show called Miraculous Ladybug wow. is continuing. We have a movie coming. Um, and, you know, that's what I can talk about now. But there's definitely lots more coming from me. Um, it's just a very exciting time in my career. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to hear everything I'm working on. Please keep up with me on social media at Bryce Pappenbrook on Instagram and Twitter. I announce what I'm a part of as soon as I'm allowed. And um, I, I also cannot wait to uh, come back to conventions. I know I was, I was supposed to come out to Puerto Rico and dates got shifted, but I'm trying my best to get out there as soon as I can. I, I, I can't wait until everything is um, safe for us to celebrate all these great shows and, and have a lot of fun. And, and I can't wait to meet everyone in person. It's, it's going to be really special when it happens. Again, thank you for taking a little bit of your time. Uh, it was, this was a really fun interview. I was so excited to talk to you. Obviously, as you said, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm really bummed that we'll be able to see you down here at Puerto Rico Comic Con. I really wanted to see you and everybody else that's going to be there. But again, thank you for uh, the opportunity and your time. Thank you for having me. And I, I can't wait for the day when uh, we can hang out in person. Looking forward to that. Thank you.